The Quantitative Electroencephalography Study, or QEEG, that you see behind me, allows us to look at the electrical activity in people's brains to create brain maps, looking at the different brain waves, such as delta and theta, some of the slower brain waves, alpha, as well as beta and high beta, some of the faster brainwave activities that we see. We're able to look at coherence as well as power outputs to create those patients' brain maps and then later create their treatment protocols based on their customized readings. Once we're able to treat patients, we do go back and review that same data later on to see what those changes are. We also look at different other diagnostic tests to include balance, eye movement, cognition, as well as neuropsychological studies. Many different conditions can be seen in a QEG, but really what we're looking at is the individual's brain. So whether it's a neurological or psychological condition, it's a brain that we're looking at, a person. So being able to look at anxiety, which might show up as increased high beta, or able to look at concussion or cognitive challenges, which could be too much slow wave activity allows us to put objective measurements on what the patient's feeling and experiencing so we can create treatment plans to get them living their best lives.